Previously on AI The Somnium Files. A little bit. I will protect Tessa! Well, I'm expecting yeah. a lot of things to glitch up. Oh, violence solves everything, how dare you? <laughs> what the fuck? Sing. You're so cool, yeah. shiny, glittery Ota. Yeah. So cool. Yeah. I mean, this is the shut fuck. <laughs> really? Mom, I love you always is carved on the handle. I guess they couldn't buy the rights to 7 Eleven. <laughs> fuck. Fuck! And it's. Oh, my brain! No, oh, fuck you! <laughs> no, fuck you! Oh my. That is terrible! <laughs> and yet it makes sense! No! This How is... can we rip off 7 Eleven? 8 12! <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not going there to arrest her. I did. I hired the polar bear. Oh my. You can't. No. No, this is a visual novel. You are not allowed to. How the fuck? How dare you, sir? <laughs> ah. Yes, I killed them. Bullshit. Line number six. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, no, this is good because. We can't rule anything else. I don't imagine Ota having the, the strength to lift anyone up. Yeah, and the balls. Alright, that's enough. Back to the video. Iris, I oh, doubt she has the actual physical strength. Why are you? Why did you arrest mom? You said you were gonna clear her. <laughs> Why? <laughs> <laughs> Why? Can I <laughs> some more? <coughs> my throat hurts. Bad. Ow, my throat hurts after doing that. <laughs> Okay, so it's like she's not dead yet. Yeah, she's not dead yet. So okay, so um. Oh wait, she's staring at a picture wait, of Iris. Wait, wait, what, what was I gonna explain? Uh? What was I gonna explain? Something to, to do with Iris murdering somebody. Oh, okay, okay. So like, are you worried about your mother? Of course she is. Of course I am. Yeah, no shit. That's no my sh mom. <laughs> what son wouldn't be worried about his mom? Are you worried about Iris? So worried that my stomach is in knots. The surgery was successful, but. Oh, she's out of the ICU. Yeah, she lost an eye. Why are you here? When I was in the hospital, the police came to me. They told me that my mom confessed. I couldn't believe it, so I went to the police station. But because she was under investigation, they wouldn't let me see her. After that, I didn't feel like going back to the hospital. That's why I'm here. Okay, that's fair. This is the first time he's actually a human. Yeah, this is the first time he's actually showing any semblance of realistic emotion. Yeah, I know it. You asked me why your mom was arrested <coughs> earlier but she isn't under arrest. What? I spoke with her as part of my investigation, yes, but as a source of valuable information, not as a suspect. Mayumi confessed, but it's highly likely that she's lying, so we haven't issued a warrant for her arrest. That's what I've been saying. Mom didn't do it, she's innocent. <laughs> what do you think if we tried to prove, you stupid young punk? You idiot. Word is going around. Maybe Iris was the one who killed Shoko and Renju. And you and her planned this warehouse incident to get her off our suspects list. No way! Tessa... had her eye... She could have pulled it out herself, or asked you to do it. You're kidding me, right? Do you really think I would do that? Maybe. We don't- we, we don't know, fully. No, we have to sync with her Bricky's brain my again. Life against the criminal! That wasn't caught on camera, though. Neither was the part where you got stabbed. You're saying that I stabbed myself? <laughs> it wouldn't be the first time you fake yes. something, would it, Ota? Oh, yeah. yeah! Did you stage the warehouse incident? Answer me truthfully. I'm telling you, I didn't! Then why is Mayumi protecting you? Mom is protecting me? Your mother is stubborn. She's lying to us because she's protecting someone. The only person I can think of would be you. Why? Apparently, she thinks that you're the criminal. Why would she think that? Your guess is as good as mine. Got any ideas? Maybe because of her condition. Mom has... dementia. Gasp! Well, I mean, it is a real world. Maybe her memory is just mixed up. Yeah, that could be a possibility, yes. Mm. Everything is my fault. Oh, it is because of me that mom is... No, it's not because of you. It's because of old age and genetics, dude. I know how Your old this had to happen. Back in the day, the diner was doing pretty good. You can't blame yourself for a chemical plant explosion that ruined business for the diner and call that dementia, you know? 
unless they're saying that your mom's dementia is because of radiation sickness. Then again, radiation sickness will manifest in completely different symptoms. You know, Bloom Park is close by here, right? Uh, radiation visited the sickness. park would stop here a lot, but ever since the explosion eight years ago. The chemical plant accident? Yeah, the chemical plant accident. This, you, remember, you remember this spot story point, right, Sakura? Yeah, I remember. But it was also supposed to be something about the... Uh, it was a conspiracy uh, as well, yeah, with the Yakuza. No ties to the Mafia? Yeah, the Yakuza. Yakuza ties, yeah. Because Bloom Park closed, the number of customers dropped by a lot. The diner didn't last much longer. When this place closed, Dad started working at a Chinese restaurant chain during the day. <laughs> Sucker, look at his dad. Oh my god. Oh, we were just talking about Hitler. <laughs> oh boy. And he was really? a security guard and traffic cop at night. Mom worked as a janitor. I don't understand. I, I guess I guess your the, the I guess Ota must have gotten the looks from his from his mother because um you know. Yeah, the father is. Oh my god. Yeah, we're both working. Hard I hope that's just a memory of what that looks like and not the actual. No, it's the actual character. Fuck and me. I was just a high school student at the time. I was. Sir, you are ugly. Such a dumbass. What do you mean you were such a dumbass? You still are such a dumbass. I thought it was totally normal to have both parents working, so I didn't even Why get Why for self-awareness, but not much else? Yeah, okay, so I just turned the BGM back on again. And they bought me a PC, and idle concert tickets. Ah, so they are the ones that started your descent into... <laughs> Into I, into fan, into idol fanboy addiction thing. I had it good. We were drowning in debt. Debt? And there's a loan on the house and the diner. Mom and Dad didn't let this place go. There are too many memories here to give it up. They slaved day and night to keep it open. They worked and worked and worked. Thanks to them, I was even able to go to a good <coughs> university. But right after I started, Dad got hit by a car and died. Passed away. Yeah. He had a heart attack. Oh no, sorry. He had a heart even attack. Even then, I didn't get it, you know? I didn't appreciate how hard they worked for me. Goodbye, bot. Even when I wasn't taking college seriously and getting bad grades, she just smiled and told me that it was okay. Even when I told her I was going to drop out. Mom, I'm thinking of dropping out of college. I like how he's dressed like this, like, probably like five, six years ago. <laughs> Why do you want to do that, Ota? I decided that I'm going to become a writer. Wow. A writer? That's a good goal to have. But you really should finish college. You work so hard to get in. <sighs> you don't understand, Mom. A writer has to put all you of their time into this thing. You don't understand, Mom. He's not a face. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say. <laughs> I'm gonna write. I'm gonna write AG teenage fan fiction for the rest of my life, and it's gonna pay the bills. Oh, how wrong he was. I won't have time to go to classes. For the rest of his life. Really fun. Plus, I'm friends with the editor of a publishing company. I'm definitely going to have my first book published. <laughs> Take it from me, Ota. I've written the same book three times. I still haven't finished my third draft. You're not going to get your first draft published. Is that uh, right? You're not supposed to send your first draft. Exactly. You're supposed to send like your seventh or your eighth draft. And even then, this still doesn't guarantee you a publish. You just, uh, a publish. You just keep on sending it to different publishers and stuff. Yeah. Well, Ota, if you say so, I won't stop you. Do what makes you happy. You'll turn out just fine. I know you can do it. And no matter what happens, Mom will always be on your side, okay? Ever and ever. I'll always support you, Ota. You lied about the editor thing, right? Yeah. How do you guess? It was really just a few texts back and forth. But I was thrilled. I thought I could make it as a writer because of that. Instead, you became a fucking neat. Yeah, you became a neat, you idiot. But... It's impossible. I know there's no way I can be a writer. I've never even finished writing a novel. Not even once. Yeah, I finished writing a novel, 120,000 words in like four months. And the first draft was sh Yeah, it was, uh, it was shit. Oh, this is the random shooting with the diner and murder. I always give right? up after the first 5,000 words. Oh, you changed the whole thing again. Yes, I've changed the whole thing again. You have to submit 10 times that. But mom, she still, she kept supporting me. Nice. Not long after I quit college, mom was always I've forgotten. Me, but I think she was starting to slip mentally. One day. Oh, what's wrong, Oda? Do you have the day off from school? Are you being sarcastic? Oh, right. You don't attend anymore. You know, I've actually forgotten. Oopsie. I totally forgot. I do remember, like, I How had to build with your own several son's career choice. Sorry, sorry. Anyway, are you hungry? Where the fuck is this? You haven't oh, eaten anything since this morning, have you? Are you kidding? What? 
I ate breakfast and lunch already. Oh, I can't remember exactly. It, it, it is the... quite a feat to get oh, actually, the, to lunch health. I think it was three days. Three days at most. Uh, by the way, Ota, what's living at the dorms like? Why are you making yes. fun of me? I'm not teasing you, honey. Don't fuck with me! Wow, such harsh words from a neat. This is why you never have only son. They become little shit. Yeah, now you feel guilty, right? Nah, finally show me some emotion, you <laughs> shit. I got sick because I'm such a Hold piece on. of shit. I was only thinking about myself. I didn't take care of her. Good that you realize this now, young <laughs> Ota. I was so stupid, I didn't realize she was sick. I thought she was messing with me. I was so cruel to her for no reason. And she got worse and worse. Hi. Oh. <sighs> About that picture. What's that picture? Looking at this photo reminds me. One time when I was a kid, I said something really bad to mom and dad. And they scolded me for it. And it's not like it was an apology or anything. But dad and I gave her a Mother's Day gift. My mom was so happy that she cried. That's what this photo is from. Why did it turn out like this? I'm such a bad son. Hey, Iba. What is it? I don't like Ota one bit, but I can't imagine that this guy is the criminal. Why is that? Who hosted me? Who just hosted me? Hearing his story made me think that he's not such a bad guy. Your presumption is illogical. Human beings are illogical. We're not like you AI, we can't be logical all the time, but we make up for it in one very important way. What is that? Intuition. Do you find that useful? At times. Hmm. Iva, let's go back to the cold storage warehouse. We might be missing something. <sighs> Understood. I do what is that now? Date, weren't you going to check the warehouse? I was. But a thought occurred to me. Iba, are you sure that Ota took this car? As I've already explained, the security cameras at the Famisto parking lot saw the entire incident clearly. So it was definitely Ota who drove it here. Why are you stating the obvious? Ota well, was one who drove the station wagon, but was he the one who drove Iba, the van? Who drove the van here? There are two possibilities. Either Iris or the criminal who kidnapped Iris. And Mayumi? Considering the time that she purchased the chocolate, that would be almost impossible. The van was hijacked from the Famisto parking lot at 10.32 p.m. Uh, I'm back. That, Welcome back. Mayumi was in oh my god, 8.12 12 again. <laughs> yards away. Help. Help. Uh. We found the chocolate Mayumi bought on the floor of the cold storage warehouse. But that doesn't prove she was actually at the scene. If she was, how did she get here? She wasn't in the van or the station wagon. Of course. A different car. I will search for all vehicles that were in this area from Sunday night to Monday morning. Oh, that is a powerful eye computer. I know, right? Found one hit. A taxi. Where is that taxi now? It is parked in Lemnisgate's parking lot. At Lemnisgate? Why? Unknown. But we should speak with the driver immediately. So this proves nothing. We are going to Lemnisgate now. Another loading screen. That's fine. Oh, what happened with Ota when I was... Uh, he started crying. Phone call. Okay. He started crying and lamenting that he was the one who made his mother like deteriorate in terms of dementia and then he just started crying and then we left him. Oh my god. Oh well, deserved. Looking glad. Uh, Ulanga. Hey, got him Oh, here's a taxi driver. Hmm. Are you talking to moi? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, he looks like a fucking pervert. He looks like a pervert, yeah. Moi? Date, now is not the time to be distracted by this old man's diction. Mind if I ask you what you're doing here? What? I am but a humble taxi cab driver. <laughs> He's speaking with a Japanese-American yeah, accent. <laughs> He's speaking with a Japanese-American accent. He's a Japanese. Uh, He's a Japanese actor trying to sound American, <laughs> Japanese, American, Japanese. Bro. There we go. Mm -hmm. I'm with the police. I have some questions for you. I have just finished conveying my client from Tameke Sano's studio. I was informed that the visit here would be brief, and thus I have decided to wait in this lobby. Where are you from? I was born in Kawago, mm. Saitama. No, that's pronounced Ka- Oh that my is, god, that it's Ka terrible fucking- It's Kawago, eh? Yeah, that's- That's, that's what I was like. Kawago, eh? <laughs> oh my god, that pronunciation. I swear they could have hired voice actors that know how to pronounce Japanese names correctly. This is a Japanese company, by the way. I don't know who did the English dub, but whoever did it is horrible. Well, most of them anyway. Obviously. Like, oh, you know we got no budget to hire- Weeps to do it for us. I know, right? I don't know what you mean. 
I've spoken this way all my life. My parents speak with the same vernacular. I hope to sound too terrible, but I think weebs are gonna be significantly easier to exploit. I know, right? Have you seen this woman before? This woman? Did you drive this passenger on Sunday night? Oh, I did indeed. I remember her well. Ah, Old hag. Old hag. Old hag? <laughs> An old <laughs> I took her on a tour of the streets of Tokyo. Our ultimate destination was the warehouse district in Ariake. Why didn't you report this to the police? Reported? You don't know about the incident at the cold storage warehouse? It was all over the news. No, I'm afraid not. Newspapers and television news programs have never been much of an interest to me. <laughs> Help, Sakura. Cringy writing. You'll drop this upon yourself. Cringy writing is killing me. So what happened with the old hag? Hmm. I recall it was around 10 in the evening, near the Kabasaki district, an unassuming restaurant named Matsushita Diner. That's where I picked up the old hag. <laughs> and as soon as she stepped foot in my conveyance, I was already what? barking orders at me. Very good. Oh, don't tell that, me he's into old women. I must admit, I found it rather exciting, just like an old chase film. I, of course, insisted that I be paid up front. We pursued the van for roughly half an hour. Suddenly, the van came to a halt at a convenience store. The Famisto along Koshu, right? Precisely right. I am surprised you know that. In any case, I knew that the jig would be up if we were seen following the van. So I decided to drive past it. I parked at the 8th store, but 100 oh, yards from there. While waiting for the object of our pursuit to make I have to buy something, she declared, then made her way into the 8th. <laughs> into the 8th. This must be when Mayumi bought the Odoroki Man chocolate. Chocolate this. A few minutes later, the old hag finished making her purchases and walked out. And then, at that very moment, I witnessed the van jet off at great speed down Koshu. <coughs> I followed the old hag inside my vehicle, then resumed the chase. So that means that initial theory of um It being Ota is wrong. No 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 not even the it being Mayumi is also wrong because she said she hijacked the van, but she didn't. Yeah, old woman hijacking a van. That's some GTA shit right there. We followed them for roughly half an hour more. I see. If the driver's story is correct, Mayumi did not know that Oto was left behind at the Famisto. Mayumi thought Oto was in the van the whole time. So that means... Yeah, yeah, that's right. They left Ota behind. So that's why Ota had to steal the car, the station wagon, not the van. So that means Iris drove off in the van or someone else drove off in the van with Iris. They gave pursuit and then Ota had to steal the station wagon and catch up afterwards. I think. We then arrived at a splendid Sounds about van. Right. The van entered the premises through the front I gate arrived. and disappeared from view. Hi, Nick. Yeah, boy. Let's get Entered it. the premises through the front gate and disappeared from view. A manor. The only manor, uh, a, a magnificent manor. The only manor. Wasn't that like the congressman? Yeah, right? the congressman. We of course could not follow, so we waited outside. I oh, estimate right, yeah, another right. ten minutes passed. Yeah. The front gate opened once again, and the van drove out, and we pursued. But thirty minutes later, our pursuit was foiled again. What happened? The van drove into the restricted Kabasaki district. The old hag, of course, demanded that I follow, but I was not about to risk my license and livelihood. Instead, I parked on the road and waited for the van to drive back the way it came. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised he remembers everything. Ah, but of course, we knew it might not take the same road back. In fact, we were not even sure the van would be coming I know, right? at all. I look like a pervert, the old man. hag was not okay. keen on giving up, so we began our stakeout. And how he calls him old hag? About 45 minutes later, the date had yeah, changed look in the mirror point. Sometimes. It was 12.25 a.m. on You know, I just realized something. This is like Nobita after he grew up. What? What? The Doraemon, the, the boy, he looks like him when he's old. The oh, glasses is exactly the same. Time so well. Oh, yeah. Well, you see, I always keep my radio dial on the same station. I remember precisely which programs were playing during this endeavor. Wow, this one a photographic memory. Yeah, yeah that's right. It's I like he remembers time. every single fucking detail. He's got like he's got an id. How do you pronounce that word? Uh, I eidetic memory. Eidetic, eidetic memory for the oh, photographic right, right. memory, lah. I see. Yeah, 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 yeah. Please continue. Yeah, sorry, I'm back later. It's the it's old okay. Old tenacious gamble paid dividends. I was walking around just now as the girl wanted to commit suicide. I had to like. Oh wow. Really? 
Oh fuck. Yeah. We again made pursuit. I can considerable distance. We had come so far. Gone so far. It got so far. But in the end, it didn't really matter. But my caution backfired. I lost some men in the area warehouses. With that so much as a thank you. The old hair got useless as a non working toward the warehouses. I waited for some time, but the uh, old hag did not return. The goose was cooked at this point, so I made the decision to return home. Goose. I am glad I had the foresight to ask for payment in advance. One more question. I follow your story. I have one more question. Where is this manor the van stopped at? Oh, every taxi driver in the city knows that residence. It is the personal oh, home of Aha! Uh -huh. so oh. Sajima. Uh -huh. Sajima? Why did the van go to So's house? Why do all the taxi drivers know that residence? Agreed. He's, he's not move. dead in this story, right? Is he, is, is he dead in this line? Is the congressman alive? Wait, what? Is, is the congressman alive? alive? In this, oh, in this branch, yes, yes. Alright, let's see what So So has to say. Mr. So. There's no one here. Indeed. Can we check the bathroom? I don't see so or his bodyguards. I do not Maybe detect the them either. <laughs> Let's go inside. This is interesting. Why is this congressman not here? Look, all I'm going to say is you better find him hey, and hope that his eyeball is in that. Do you smell something funny? You are aware that I do not possess the sense of smell, correct? <laughs> she's yeah, that's why she's an eyeball, not a nose. <laughs> oh. Right. Uh, right. Door? No? Oh shit, it's, it's the vast. You remember what I- Something strange last time. Oh yeah, shit. I think he's dead. Is he dead? Oh, what is oh it? no, he's inside this the vast. This is definitely where the smell yeah. is coming from. Is there something inside? Maybe, but the opening is covered by a metal plate. The lid is fixed with a bolt. It will not open easily. Yeah. That is a large vast. This is standard procedure. If it can fit an old man- X-ray. I dread the- Oh no! Oh, oh shit, it is! Oh, oh shit! Shit! <laughs> what the- Oh! Oh god! Dante, <laughs> destroy the base! Got it! Destroy it for what? No, what no, no, evidence? you're gonna temper with evidence, you stupid! Idiot, it's evidence? What? What? Stop! Don't shoot it! Oh god. You are a bad detective, sir! Whoa, that's a- what's a war? What the fuck is that? Oh, yeah! Ooh. Oh! It's a nerf gun. Jesus Christ! Oh, his eyeball's missing. <laughs> Oh, his eyeball did come out. Fuck? Yeah, his his that eyeball is apparently awesome. missing too. Yeah. What oh, a surprise! Is that the reason why his bodyguards are also dead? Wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. How did that revolver one bullet disintegrate his entire arms and legs? No, they, they were already chopped into pieces. Yeah, but it's not there. <laughs> no, it's it's there somewhere. Hey, why 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 are we still looking around? What the hell? There's probably more shit in the room. There's something in the table. No, there's not. There's something on the table. Hey, maybe if you find the other faces, you get the bodyguards. That is the head of Sosajima. Yeah, I mean, if you came back at the wrong time, this is bad. This is bad. Bad day. Bad day. <laughs> Left eye is hollowed out. This is most likely a crime committed by the new Cyclops killer. Do you have an estimated time of death? Today, sometime between 11 a.m. and noon. Jeez. That's about when I was talking to Ota at Matsushita Diner. So it definitely rules out Ota as Ota. the killer. Yeah, Ota's definitely not. And during this time, <laughs> um, his mother was also in the police station. So it could only so have been... At that time, Mayumi was what, what in police custody the, and the Iris was in the ICU of Central, Central Hospital. Uh, like at 3am or something in the early morning. Uh, so yeah, yeah, Ota's mother is in police custody and Iris is still in the ICU. They have not moved. That means Ota, Mayumi and Iris couldn't possibly have committed the crime. Assuming that this is the work of a single killer, those three can be eliminated from the list of suspects. Ota, Mayumi, and Iris are not the new side. This is exactly what Date just said, stupid. Right. We don't wipe you By the way, why is there no one in the mansion? No bodyguards, no housekeepers. I do not know. Does So have family? So Sejima's wife died in labor 30 years ago, giving birth to their son. Their son is currently living abroad. So lived here alone? Do you find that suspicious? No. No, just... Maybe it's one of the bodyguards. Uh, nah, boss? Dante, a call from Pewter. Connect oh. me. Hi, Pewter. Sync machine is up and running. You can sync with Mayumi now. Oh, thanks, Pewter. But there are more pressing matters now. Did something happen? Yeah, I found So Sejima's body with the left eye hollowed out. What? I'm at the Sejima household. Send the investigation team over. Why so? I can answer your questions when I get back to Abyss. Got it.
Date, what is your plan? Nothing is to be is the moment where like, everyone suspected where all of us are like, oh it must be so in the face, it must be so in the face. Oh but how did they stuff him inside the face? Then it's like X-ray is in pieces. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I was like, uh is this is it this? <laughs> until the crime scene investigation arrives? No. There's something I need to do. If that taxi driver was telling the truth, Mayumi was at the warehouse yesterday, and we know the chocolate we found at the scene was hers. Maybe she saw something. Maybe she knows something we don't. Some kind of clue or information about the culprit. Then... Yeah. We're gonna sing with Mayumi.